Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers and the North Texas Mean Green. Number 32 is, brings a calm senior leadership that his team needs on the floor. He finds a way to bring that valuable team support to the team without losing his own game. The Mean Green will have to be prepared defensively for him tonight, Dick. The Mean Green should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. First, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Secondly, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. And lastly, get your man on your hip after the shot. Lock out and get after those boards. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Number 12 is pounded on his way up. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. First shot is no good. Second one, good. The center handles the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Buried it. Number 20 receives the pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Dump it inside. Inside for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds to shoot. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Working it around the perimeter. Number 32 with the fake. He shoots from left to the circle. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Number 22 receives the ball. Puts it up, way off target. And he scores despite the hack. Number 41, With a little baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. Up and inside. And the ball goes out of play. Inside, the center handles the feed. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Thinks about the shot. Let's it fly. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. He'll regroup the offense. Gave it up. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. 
Contact causes the shot to come off. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He fires from long range. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. They still don't score. Trying to pack it inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the deep. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot, but he missed the shot. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. On the dribble, gives it up. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Fed the low block on the inside. Goes up for two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. They work the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. Both teams looking to get things going here. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. The Mean Greens will step to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Rims off. He grabs the board. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Number one steals the ball. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what he does, he keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Or two. And he missed. Looking for the foul. Looking for a good shot. Up fake. The shot from the baseline. He gets it to fall. Now they work it around the perimeter. High post screen, gonna use it. From the baseline, he hits the shot. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The Hilltoppers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Out 
on the outside. Dump it inside. He tries the three. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point land. Yeah, Brad, no one seems to have found the touch. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Number three is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Look at that spacing. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. The ball goes out of play. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. High post screen. Ten seconds to put it up. He uses the shot fake. He puts up the three ball. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Number 32 is fired up and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Pump fakes. Tries for two. Doesn't go. They'll work it around the arc. We'll take the shot. He comes up empty. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He unloads a three. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Gave it up. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I'll tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. They move it into the front court. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Here's a flash from the high post. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player.
Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a double team. Number three is whistled for the foul. Third team foul. The skip pass is picked off. They work the perimeter. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. From right of the circle. There's the fake. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Stop and pop. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. The Hilltoppers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Number one is called for the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll shoot two. Makes his first. Both free throws go. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from outside. There was no doubt about that one. <laughs> Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And off the mark. Screeners seeing stars after that screen. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Entry pass in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Looking for a good shot. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Steals a pass. Away, the elevator man, they love it. The 
And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Pressure that basketball. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Tries to get the D to bite, fakes the shot. Turnaround jumper, in and out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He takes a three. The Hilltoppers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Take a look right here. trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up, fakes a jumper. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. He shoots from the top of the key. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drills the trifecta. On the inside, he takes it away. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Launches away. The Hilltoppers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. Shot clock is dead. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Puts up the tray. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. From right in the circle, sinks the shot. At halftime, the Hilltoppers lead by 11. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look.
Number one is keeping his composure. I guess you can look at it that way, Brad. Or maybe the opposing team is keeping him in check. The score at half tells the story. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. On the dribble, gives it up from right of the circle. The mean greens have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Jumped in front to take it away. They have to start making some crisper passes, Dick. Yeah, these guys are going after everything, Brad. He fires away. Nice shot. Jump hook from the low post. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long way. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Intercepted for two and off the mark. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Gets the rejection. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Looking for contact. Takes it off and... The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from the top of the key. North Texas. They have a nice little run going in here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Player's got a much needed breather with that time out. Up and inside. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Set that screen away. On the top of the circle. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his boards. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> and he'll kick it back outside. Dump it inside. Too much. That's a foul. Nick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. So we get another look. doing a great
great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. Number 32 with the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Rims out. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Misses the second shot. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Got it. He paid no attention to the collision in midair and jammed that home. Hey, Brad, he wanted to give you something to remember him by. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He makes it. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for a good shot. Got some room. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Look at that spacing. He takes the shot off the baseline. He nails the shot. Number 22, Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. left of the circle. Number 20 makes a tray. Jumps in. He nails the bucket. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Takes the pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work the perimeter. Hey, hey, hey. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Launches the three. The Hilltoppers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Got an open look if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the circle. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Leans in. Up. Easy one. Great defense. And he'll kick it back outside. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Number 21 picks up the foul. Fifth team foul. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Picks off the pass. <laughs> On the outside. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. From the top of the key, way off target. There's the trap. From the baseline, off the rim and no good. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Strips the ball. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Picked out of the air. Cross court. High post flashes for the opportunity. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Kicked off. Dump it inside. Unloads. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Center it, center it. Trying to draw some contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Shots there if he wants it. He lets it go. Way off target. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle, misses the tray. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses from downtown. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Has a nice look at the basket. Shoots off the rim and no good. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Picks off the lazy pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice fake. Making his presence felt with a block. And the ball goes out of play. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. The power forward gets the pass. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They'll work it around the arc. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. There's a high screen. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Ten seconds. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. Seven on the shot clock. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The small forward handles the pass. Picked off. Looking for a good shot. Number 22 is charged with the foul. Second personal foul.
Number 42 goes to the line for the first time. He makes the first shot. Nothing but rim. Takes the rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. It's electrifying in here. The center gets the ball. Stolen. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He takes it away. The point guard with the ball. Working it around the perimeter. The center takes the pass. Steal. You got to be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Picked out of the air. with great anticipation for the rejection and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. With a little baby hook and in and out. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter one. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out, and that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Steals the pass. The point guard receives the pass. There's the screen up on top. For the bucket. He makes the shot. He intercepts it. The small forward takes the feed. He shoots from the top of the circle, rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen ball. They work the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. On the outside. Shot clock goes off. Yeah, Brad, the defense had him locked down that time. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. He shoots from the top of the key. It won't fall. Pushes it up. The shooting guard handles the feed. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. I tell you, it's time to start fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Second one is good. So timeout. Oh, 
change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Look at that spacing. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. They should try for an early foul here. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble and a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situation. Second shot is no good. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. The shooting guard receives the ball. Kicks it out. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 20 is whistled for the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. He shoots from the angle. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. North Texas accepts a difficult loss. It's always tough to lose to a team that you know you can beat. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.